I think this t-shirt is very appropriate for today's video. Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news and also speculation video. I'm finally doing it. I'm finally talking about the DLC for Security Breach. It was revealed, admittedly, a few months ago back in, I want to say, like, January. So back in January, it was revealed that Steelwool was working on DLC for Security Breach, but we honestly didn't really have anything to go off of. So I could say, oh, you know, I want, you know, Glamrock Bonnie to be in the DLC, or I want new areas or more of Afton and Vanny in the DLC. At the end of the day, that's all we could do was speculate. We had really no solid evidence to go off on, but now we do, and it's very interesting. I don't think it's what any of us were expecting, but honestly, we just gotta go with what we got, and now we finally have a official teaser poster and also the name of the DLC. So first and foremost, I'm very interested. What do you guys want to see in the DLC for Security Breach? New areas, new characters, more endings, whatever. I want to know what do you want to see in the DLC for Security Breach, and hey, while you're down there in the comments section, hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video. That's PogChamp, and let's hop into it. So like I said, a while back people noticed that there was a new package in like the the technical steam whatever i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about they're working on a new thingy called fnaf 9 shipping dlc keep in mind this was when they were working on the big patch so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for them to make something called dlc if it was for the patch so very clearly steel wool was up to something adding brand new content and dlc to the game so that was that and it took us a little while but eventually we got just a bit more info. It turns out that they were naming this new DLC Chowda, a very appealing name. I, what the heck does that even mean? And then people got thinking, Chowda kind of sounds like chowder, which is a food. Sometimes it's seafood. And around this time, Ray McCaffrey, who is the executive producer at Steelwool, started tweeting out that he was going to a few exhibits, mainly aquariums. And then people started to really freak out, thinking that the DLC was going to be aquatic themed and Steelwool were going to aquariums to, you know, do research. And then Ray completely shot it all down and said, nope, I just went to aquariums because I think they're cool and I like fish. So then the community was like, well, okay, well... There goes that theory. So I think it's pretty safe to say it's not going to be, you know, aquatic, aquarium themed. I, it just, it feels like it would come out of nowhere as well. I think we have one aquatic themed animatronic in the series, and that's Felix. And a new aquarium setting just doesn't really fit in with Security Breach and the Pizza Plex. Again, it would come out of nowhere. So aquatic theme, kind of off the table. Don't think it's going to be an aquarium. Though that would be sick, and I would love to see that in a future FNAF game. And then we're left with, once again, pretty much nothing but the name, Chowda. And that's all until Sunday, when Daco did a charity stream for WWF. Fantastic charity stream, raised like over $20,000, it was fantastic. I was on there, I played Among Us and Crab Game with some of the Steerwall crew, including Ray McCaffrey, and one of the donation incentives was a new poster from Steel Wool. And this was the last milestone. So you know it's not gonna be something lame like, ooh, just a scrapped poster from the main game. No, this is something big. This is something new. And it turned out to be this. Chica Chowda. It comes full circle. You got Chica, you got Chowda. But what does it, what does it mean? Because now we have two things. Golly gee, we got Chowda and we got a poster with Chica Chowda. And we were speculating a bit in the Discord when this got revealed on stream. What could it be? And personally, I think the most likely answer is just simply a brand new location. The name fits with the rest of the themes of the locations, you know, Roxy's Raceway, you got Chica Salon, Chica Chowder, Monty Golf, it fits. So I think most likely this is just a new attraction at the Pizza Plex, which, you know, seems kind of lame, but honestly, I love walking around the Pizza Plex, I would love to see new attractions. So if the DLC is just, you know, new additions, new attractions expanding the Pizza Plex, I'm fine with that. As long as they do something a bit unique, and it's not just the same game, just with new locations. So this is where the news ends, and I enter the speculation territory of the video. So tell me, what do you think about Chica Chowder in the comments down below, and now, let's theorize a bit. So if we take the idea that the DLC is just new areas around the Pizzaplex, and we go with that, what else could they do? Because I'll be honest, you will, 
<laughs> I don't think many people are gonna buy the DLC if it's just new attractions. That's kind of lame. You gotta do something more. It can't just be, oh, look, we got a new area, you know, Chica Chowda. It's gotta be something more. It's gotta be something unique that's different from the main game to get people to buy the DLC. Now, there's a lot of theories going around. I think one of the most popular right now is like the Choose Your Own Guardian DLC, which I'm not all too familiar with, but basically you get to pick and choose who you explore the pizza plex with. For example, in some of the endings of the main game, we get Vanessa on our side. You know, we free her from Vanny and Glitch Trap. So what if now, in this DLC, Vanessa's on our side, and we're now exploring the, the pizza plex with her dodging the new animatronics? That could be very unique. You know, having Vanessa be a, a villain in the main game, but then in the DLC, she's our friend. That would be cool. We could also maybe get Freddy on our side back again, or once again, there was some scrap dialogue where he was supposed to turn on us, so maybe this time in the DLC, he's an enemy. Maybe we befriend some of the other animatronics, though after shattering them, I doubt that's gonna happen. But I think the main direction I'd want the DLC to take is, hey, we befriended Vanessa, she's on our side, but uh-oh, Burn Trap, he survived the ending cutscene of the Afton ending when, you know, the blob... <laughs> what did the blob even do? He just kind of, like, picked him up. So we gotta go back into the Pizza Plex, but, you know, maybe a long gap of time has passed and now there's new attractions like Chica Chowda. Or, an alternative option, this is a prequel DLC. We learned in the retro CDs that Vanessa took this job at the Pizza Plex after FNAF AR. Right, she was working at FNAF AR and then she was like, I need to go to this new place, I need to move. And she went to, you know, the security breach Pizza Plex. So maybe it would be cool if we played as Vanessa first getting to the Pizza Plex. Maybe there we see Glamrock Bonnie instead of, you know, before he was replaced as the bass player by Monty. And maybe beforehand, there were some new attractions that closed during the events of the main game. I don't know, it's an idea. But I'd also love to see that happen, a prequel story, so we can see not only Glamrock Bonnie, but how the Pizza Plex was originally, maybe while it's being constructed, I don't know. And then also maybe playing as Vanessa. I think that'd be a really cool twist that I would love to see. Or again, it's a sequel story, well, not a sequel, but a continuation of the story that we saw in the main game, where, hey, Burn Trap's not dead, we gotta go back in there, this time with Vanessa, maybe Freddy turns on us, cause Glitch Trap takes control of him, I don't know, I'm shouting ideas out here. And some time has passed, there's new attractions, maybe new characters, I don't know. But it's certainly gonna be interesting to see what they do here, because Security Breach has been a massive success. FNAF right now is at an all-time high, it's, you know, it's set new records, this game has smashed, you know, sales records for the franchise, it's crazy. FNAF is going crazy right now. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Steel Wool makes a new DLC to keep these fans going. Obviously, I don't think it'll be too, too different from the main game. I still think we're going to be in the Pizza Plex, walking around, exploring attractions, dodging animatronics. It'll be very much the same. But again, hopefully with new twists, like those new attractions, maybe new characters, new characters on our side, new characters against us. I don't know. Maybe, again, we play as a new character. Prequel story. Maybe we're not playing as Vanessa when she gets there. Maybe we're a kid that will eventually go missing. I don't know. It's, it's very exciting. I, I hope we get new info soon because this poster, well, it does look cool and I'm, I'm hoping we see more Chica because I feel like she was very, you know, underappreciated in the main game. I mean, this doesn't really give us a whole lot to, to work with. Again, I think Chica Chowder is most likely a new location, a new attraction. Much like Roxy's Raceway, Monty Golf, Chica's Bakery, you know, Chica's Chowder. I just hope we get a bit more info and I hope it's a bit more unique than just new attractions. But those are my thoughts. I know there's a lot of theories out there about the DLC, so if I didn't get to one, I'm sorry. Leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your theories, what you think, what you want the DLC to be about. Of course, there's no release date. It could be this year. It could be next year. I don't know. There's no other info as far as I'm aware. It's just the DLC is called Chowda and we have this poster. So that's gonna do it for this video. Again, a, an interesting one since it's mostly speculation. We don't have a whole lot to go off on. But again, I really hope we get new info soon because <clears throat> because I am so excited for this DLC. Again, I love Security Breach and I can't wait to see what Steel Wool does next. So thank you so much for watching another FNAF News video and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.